So Andy's car had a big noise in the bottom end of it somewhere. It was, you'd heard in all the videos. Um, so what we've decided to do in our Irish logic is we thought we'd fix the engine. We looked at reconditioning. It was actually nearly just as cheap to buy a brand new Toyota engine with injectors, with a turbo, with a starter, with a heavy duty clutch, with a gearbox, because we just fell into the rabbit hole. We just kept thinking, well, if we're putting that in, we should do this. And if we're doing that, we should do this. So we have ended up spending $39,300 on a 17 year old cruiser to make it brand new. Join us on this journey. So what's happened is the past six months, this car has unfortunately developed a knock. Um, and who else would tell me, but it was actually Trent that picked up on it. I was none the wiser. So MC told me, I might actually start to notice it and it's progressively gotten worse. As you've probably heard it in the Morton Island episode. So I took it down to the mechanic because I don't trust Trent fully with mechanical stuff. Took it down there and I'm like, what do you reckon? They had a look through it and Lo and behold, he was right, there is a knock. And it turns out to be a crack piston, which is pretty damn unfortunate. So, we had a couple options moving forward. I could just get rid of the car, I could rebuild the current engine, or I could put a new one in, which is what we're gonna go with. So, I have decided to buy the bullet, and we're gonna go with a brand new engine, which is pretty much the exact same that's in there now. I'm not gonna do Barra or any of that sort of jazz. Purely because one, I have not that much knowledge when it comes to engines, so I wouldn't even know if something went wrong how to fix it. And two, it's a little bit little bit cheaper as well. So we're gonna slap a brand new engine in. Still the 2008 pre-DPF, they still make them over in Japan. So anyway, we're talking to Hayden down at the service depot. We're like, all right, man, what can we do to sort of help you out? And he's like, right, well, as soon as you get there, we're gonna try and take this ball bar off anyway to help access into the engine bay. I'm like, sweet, because I was gonna do that anyway, because this bull bar, it's just, she's starting to rust through, like pretty bad in some areas. The uh, side steps aren't really looking the best either. So I'm going in a different direction. Just for now, I just jumped on Marketplace and I found a bloke who was selling a stock bumper that you get just out of the factory. So I purchased one of them and I'm gonna sell this whole kit. Um, and then hopefully that just gets me some money towards the new ball bar, which I'm putting on, which I'm not gonna tell you about just yet. Stay tuned. So there are some plans. You're gonna see some changes throughout the channel in this car, because I plan doing this up pretty pretty well now, pretty nice. So the object today is we're just gonna take off the ball bar and all that sort of stuff. Gonna whack the bumper on anyway. And yeah, I'll see you at the uh, mechanics on Monday. Right, we're here at the service depot. Hayden's inside getting everything ready. All right, the, the loose game plan is, clearly we're gonna take everything out, but drain all the fluids. I think the radiator's coming out first. Um, they're gonna have to take all the bits and pieces off the engine, drop the engine out, crack the uh, transfer case, take the gearbox off, take the clutch off, um, basically strip it all down. Um, most of the parts that are going back into it are brand new, but there will be some things that are being used again, like. Um, the radiator, the intake manifold, all that sort of stuff will be cleaned and put back in again. We're right at the start of this process, so we will bring you along with us. It's probably going to take a week to get this done, but the next time you see this out in the open air, it'll have a brand new engine, a brand new gearbox, brand new clutch, brand new starter motor, brand new turbo, brand new radiator, um, whatever else is going to be brand new will be brand new. So. Let's put it into the shed and get this engine stripped. This is quite literally the biggest unboxing and probably the most expensive unboxing I've ever done. Ando should be here to do this, but he's at work. I managed to get half an hour to spare. So this is the motor, the engine. Ooh, look at that. That's fancy. That's a very shiny new V8. So the next step in this process is they're going to strip off all the top bit of the engine to get to the manifold, get the manifold off and send it away to be deep cleaned. In the meantime, there was a 
few issues just getting the few bolts in the back that didn't come out real well. So poor old Joel spent a few hours getting six bolts off, um, but he's done it. Um, so the engine's out, the clutch is still on, the gearbox is around the back over here. You'll, so this is all going to be stripped, all this wiring loom is going to come off and go onto the new engine. Manifold's going off to get cleaned and it'll come back on. So basically, you can see now everything's been stripped out. Um, so it's now time to take all this bits apart, get it away. And then we start assembling and putting the new stuff back in. Heel shafts off, the exhaust come off. Everything's out, um, car's empty. And now we get to the exciting part where everything starts going back in. So I guess the next thing you'll see from us is hopefully all this being taken apart and then the new stuff being put onto the new engine, the clutch being bolted on, transfer case and the gearbox all being bolted on and lifted back up in. So next step. All right, fast forward a few hours and all the stuff's been stripped down. Joe's just got the exhaust manifold to go, the turbo, um, and that might be it. So look how neat all this is. So this up at the back here, I'll show you in a minute. That's all the stuff that's been pulled off this engine. It's going to go onto the new one. All these boxes here, so we've got the old uh, lot alternators going back on and the AC compressors going back on. Flywheel and clutch, new gaskets, pre-fuel filter, radiator. I don't know what's in those, but all these things are going back on the engine, hopefully soon. And uh, then we'll start putting, I suppose, the transfer case on the gearbox and back up in eventually. So with the new engine ready to go back in, it's time to start bolting all the old bits that we're keeping from the old engine back onto it. Clutches, a new clutch obviously, but now all the old stuff that we're saving that's good is now being put back on. So the AC condenser, the alternator, the fuel reels, all of these things that can be reused easily from the old engine that are still very good are now going back on. And then next thing is the transfer case. You wouldn't believe it, look who's turned up for his own car build. Yep, finally, finally made it here from work. So I've come here to the exciting stage. The engine is finally in and she looks bloody schmicko. The boys have done an awesome job. So uh, all that needs to go in now is gearbox and fluids. Intercooler. Uh, yeah, intercooler. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the big guy should be running tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day we yes. get to start it up again. Cannot bloody wait, so. Fingers crossed everything goes well, which I'm sure it is, and we'll see you tomorrow for the exciting bit. So we're definitely getting down to the business end now, starting to bolt the drive shaft on, the tail shaft, everything's coming together. The engine's in, the gearbox is in, the transfer case is in. Uh, we're actually getting towards the end of the build. So uh, we need to put the intercooler on, we'll get the, the holder for the intercooler all mounted up. And now it's time to put all the hoses on, pipes, the, the fan belts, everything that we need to make this engine work is now going back in again. It's very exciting. The main thing here to, to note is once we get all the, all the pipes in, it's time to test the air conditioning system and make sure the cooling system works, the air box is going back in, batteries back in. So we're nearly about the stage now where we can almost crank it up. Final stage though is pressure testing the cooling system. So I'm pretty sure I scudded the boys yesterday. I said, how was it all going? Oh yeah, it all went really well, nothing really bad. 
Then they put the coolant in and did a pressure test and there was a leak from this, which is actually, this is the old engine, but it kind of sits right down in there. So they had to take all this stuff off again to change this pipe, which they had, but didn't get until after they'd rebuilt all the engine back. And they thought, well, this pipe might be okay, but it wasn't so much the pipe as the seal from this bit at the end. So um, fast forward a day later, we've pulled everything out, put the new pipe in, put everything back on again. So we're kind of where we were up to yesterday, but now everything's working. We hope. Right, the time has come. Joel's in there, ready to start it up. All the fluids are in, not been started yet. Uh, there's a week and a half's work into this. Uh, is everything gonna work? I'm sure it is, but you never know with the, everything's brand new and not being started yet. So let's see, is it gonna start? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Loving it. There's no knock in it either this time. Well, no. much bloody anticipation. I finally got it back. The boys have done a bloody awesome job. I honestly can't thank them enough. Um, so there's really nothing left to it but to have a test drive. So come with us and we'll see the first thoughts. Rightio. Uh, so it is a, about a week, about a week later. Um, I'm very sorry that I didn't do it on the day. I didn't, like I, I, I drove it home from the mechanics but I forgot to film. It was quite late, it's a bit dark like it is now, uh, but I was a bit too bloody excited and I just forgot, so I'm sorry. So, it's been about a week, so I guess I'll give you a little update. It's going bloody awesome. The only, only thing I had to do was just adjust the clutch a little bit. Um, probably like the, I literally just went in the next day and they touched it up and other than that, it's been working bloody awesome. Like it's going in the gear smoothly. I'm not sure, can you, I can't, yeah, no, I can't hear it knock anymore, so that's a big positive. Um, but yeah, I'm sitting at 100Ks now. No dramas at all. It's going, going really good. So yeah, can't can't thank the boys enough down at down at the service depot. Um, you've done an awesome job, like I said. But um, so yeah, I will flick you back to past me, explaining what else is happening. So this is the first step into what you're going to see as a new cruiser so step one engine gearbox done super happy with it what's to come got some seats that need redoing because those ones are horrible i'm going to tinker around with the canopy see what i can do there maybe do a few more changes and i'm pretty much going to figure out the rest but now that this has happened i'm going to uh i'm going to do it right and there's going to be a few changes on the track so hopefully you are uh, stay tuned uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one